I don't know where to stand so the ring light doesn't like take over my eyes. <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to another video for Saint Soaps. So I know it's been a little bit of a while since my last video and that's because Christmas happened. And along with Christmas comes the end of the year and a lot of other crazy stuff happens. Had some personal family stuff going on, uni got a bit crazy and overwhelming for me. And not only was I celebrating Christmas on a personal level, but also on the business level. So there were a lot of orders that actually came in and I was so thankful to those people who ordered from me for Christmas time. That really meant a lot for me. And it also helped me prepare for this coming year. Gave me a better idea of the things that I can focus on for what customers are looking for, but also how I can better be creative and I guess it sounds cliche, but stay true to myself. I don't want to be unhappy in what I do and I know that this past year has definitely given me time to refine and define what I would like to do with my business and soap making. So this first video um, is about a Valentine's soap. So this soap, while being put out for Valentine's Day, was actually not Valentine's themed. So it is actually another collaboration with Andrea from Acmo TV and it is a K-pop themed soap. So this is inspired by EXO's Love Shot music and video clip and while it was themed for that, the colour theme we went for, as you'll see, is very Valentine's-y. So, is that a word? Valentine's-y? So as you'll see, it's very pink and it has a lovely smell and it's topped with pinkish reddish rose petals as well. So I'm personally not a massive fan of the colour pink, I'm very picky with it, um, depends on what it's in or what it's on, what shade it is, etc. But I actually rather dig this. I really like the colour that we used and we did, we made it into, um, we block, it's like colour blocking but not because it's just the one color but we made it in distinct sections of varying shades so it's really pretty so this soap will be released at the end of january slash the very start of february 2020 for the exact date please follow me on my social medias because that's where i release the specific details about each product so my social medias can be found in the links down below in the box and also at the end of this video so i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you next time have a great day so, Andrea's here with us today. Hey. Hey guys. So she traveled all the way down from Queensland just for this video. No, she didn't, I'm joking. But she decided to pay us a visit, so that's really nice. Worth it. <laughs> so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start trying out that new technique that I talked about in the intro. So we're gonna try the diagonal. I don't know if, I can't remember if it has a specific name, the diagonal cut, but we're gonna try it. I've watched quite a few videos of other people doing it. So we're gonna be trying out a new fragrance as well. This is called Loving Spell. I mean, it's no point in me showing you the bottle, but Loving Spell. <laughs> So this is a really fruity fragrance. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll talk about that more in a second, but what we're gonna do first, because I'm gonna be splitting the batter, batter, it sounds so weird still calling it batter, because we're gonna be splitting the batter first um, and leaving one half till later. I don't wanna mix it up too much, so I'm just gonna quickly mix the lye water into my oils, which are already melted and at room temperature, lightly mix it, and then we're going to go from there. Okay, so as we can see, I barely mixed it, so it's just at a really light trace. Uh, it's still really liquidy, it's just blended so the oil and lye is not separate, and it's now at that light creamy yellow color, because what we're gonna be doing is getting two buckets here, and we're gonna be splitting this in half, and then adding different amounts of color at different points in the process. So that's, it. we wanna do it half and half. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we've chosen, or we've chosen, I've chosen based off the idea that uh, Andrea sent me and the inspiration and everything, we've chosen a color called Pink Rose Mica. Looks like this. So it's really pretty. I'm a little nervous because I got it from the same supplier as I got for the Zarya um, Overwatch soap, the From Russia With Love soap. That one um, was a fuchsia color. And that one like was hot pink, but it turned like that really wacky 
My Little Pony purple color and everything, which is great, but not what I wanted it for. So this color is very similar looking, I would say. So I'm a little nervous. I'm hoping this one, it's not the same, it's not the same um, color, but it looks similar. So I'm hoping that it's not going to do the same thing. So just eyeing it off. I'm usually pretty good with my measurements. Some people use scales, you know, good for them. But <laughs> I also look at the sides of the buckets. Can I see? It's actually more like I can see from the top, I think. This one is a little bit more. And then I will scrape out this container, this large one, because I'm not going back to the large container. So, yeah. Don't need any excess left here. Plus, this is not going to get coloured if it stays in here, because now the two smaller buckets are the ones that are going to be coloured. I don't think they saw that on camera. Nothing happened. You didn't see it. I totally just accidentally spilled some of the liquid down the side. It's okay. Okay. And I think this will be about it. So in both the colored buckets, we are doing um, we are doing the same color. The what was it called again? Pink rose. We are doing pink rose in both buckets, but using different amounts. So I want one to be a stronger color. I'm really gonna have to clean that up. <laughs> It's like a puddle on the bench. <laughs> Sorry. So I've got this pretty even. I'm quite happy with how it looks. So we are going to leave one of them off to the side. Um, this is not going to be touched for a little bit. Put that on another bench so I don't get confused. So this one is going to have, I've already dispersed the color in some oil, a little bit of oil. So that means that um, it's going to disperse or mix better in this uh, quicker kind of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this and then we're going to add half of the fragrance oil into this one and then we're going to be tilting the mold uh, um, at an angle and pouring it in. I know it might sound a bit confusing but hear me out, okay? It's going to it's gonna be cool. So when you diffuse the, the colour, uh, what, what type of oil do you put in there? So I usually just use, I've just used a little bit of sunflower oil because that is what I had on hand, but also I already use that in here. So if you add, like, you need to be very precise with your measurements when it comes to soap making um, because it does matter. Like, you can't just be like, oh, and even also the types of, like, oil that you're using when it comes to the amount of lye that you use, for example. You can't just be like, oh, I'm going to substitute, instead of using olive oil this time around, I'm going to use sunflower oil and not change the calculation of how much lye water you need because obviously each oil is different so i'm not quite sure the technical terms for it like if it's like the chemical composition or the density or whatever but when you change the type of oil you also have to recalculate the lye that you use because sometimes then your soap i've learnt that myself the soap may end up too too soft or too hard because the lye is not the right amount for the type of oil but because I'm, I barely use like probably like five grams, barely, just enough to mix that powder in, that's not going to make a difference that I've added an extra five grams of the oil. Like that's okay. So yeah, that's what I do is I usually just add an oil that I'm already using. So I had sunflower oil on hand. Sunflower oil is in my soap this time around. Yeah, so that's what I've used to disperse it. It just means that I don't have to mix the soap just quite as much as normal to get it to disperse. So we'll see what this color looks like and if we need to we'll add more powder in a second okay so that one is quite light still i say i want it darker so i'm just going to go straight in actually with the little measuring spoon i have aren't they cute they're like little well it's covered in mica now on the spoon it's like little bronzy colored pieces Bexy, professional mm -hmm. it's because i had so many different measuring tools that i was like i actually need just Some Clear it out, get some normal regular ones. I need to also invest in some smaller containers. I've seen um, another soap maker, they have these little, they're made of like corn, I don't know, like corn plastic or something, and they're these tiny little like, they're almost like condiment containers, plastic condiment containers that you would serve sauce in. And um, she uses that for like her measurements of her colors and stuff, so I need to get something like that to make it a bit easier. So it's all ready to go. 
So I should have known, this is usually the way it is. Use a lot more once you colour the soap because it will blend out. So we'll see how this one goes. Okay, so we've added some more. <laughs> okay. Now I will scrape down the sides before we add the oil. And I'm going to actually mix the oil in quickly with the spatula just so, I mean, I still want it pretty liquid. This one is about to be poured and I do want it to set up faster than the other one because I need this to set up so I can pour the other one on top. But also it's not going to be poured level. It's going to be poured at an angle. So when I sit the tray up, the mold up straight afterwards, I want it to hold its shape at the diagonal. Am I making sense? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to have somebody else here to be like, does that make sense? So basically you want to make sure that it's set so that it stays. Yeah. And you can pour on So top it keeps of it. its shape, yeah. Yeah. The shape that we're pouring it at is gonna be like a triangle, or like at an angle. So I need that triangle angle shape. Triangle angle, angle, triangle. <laughs> to stay. Either either. Nice and bright. It smells delicious. It's like it's sweet with like a little hint of sherbet. Yeah. I'm actually a bit iffy about sherbet fragrances. To me, they're like, they're fake smelling. I've never, honestly, I've just, in general, I've never smelled a good fragrance scent that, I mean, fragrance scent, sherbet scent that I like. To me, they're all like really sugary and fake smelling. Don't like it. But, um, yeah. So what we're going to do, I'm going to cut now because I'm actually going to get Andrea to hold the camera while I pour at the angle so you've got a better way of seeing it, checking it out. Okay, so what I've just done, guys, is I've used a towel to prop up the the mold. I don't know my words. The mold at an angle. So what we're going to do now is pour this straight in. I'm going to pour it so it hits the bottom corner. And then as it fills, it's only going to fill at an angle. So this is interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna clean out the bucket. Let's grab the spatula. My problem is, is whenever I have to look away from where the edge of the bucket is and clean out the rest of it, I accidentally move it and spill it. This turned out in a lovely color. I thought it was more fuchsia, like you saw it in the in the container and mixed in the oil and it's turned out this lovely dusky it is it's a rose color it's really nice it's perfect because that's what we want yeah a nice rosy color so it's interesting how that changes okay so now i don't want to shake it too much or anything but this is me learning now so what we're going to do though it's just bounce it a little bit with a spatula. So I've just filled up the corners that were a bit empty and I've noticed that it's a bit uneven here. So I'm just bouncing it carefully so it's not moving the shape too much. So the line won't be absolutely clean. I don't think, uh, from what I've seen, I don't think you can achieve that. It will be a bit more of an organic flowing shape. Oh, but there you go. It looks so much better already. And I'll just scrape this up. we use using my finger inside a glove, of course. As much as it smells good, don't eat it. Yeah, don't eat it. But it does look quite nice. I'm very, okay, I think I'm a bit more happy with that shape. So yeah, you can see it's at a bit of an angle. So, oh, that actually was a good, it's almost. It's like a perfect, like, slant. Yeah. So, so yeah. Using a towel was a good idea. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to let this set so it's firm enough that I can remove the towel and sit the mold straight up and down. And then we will be adding the rest of the soap on top. Okay, so we're back. After, it only took a few minutes. For you guys it was like less than a second because I cut the video. But um, it's set now. I'm still being a bit careful with it but you can see that it's very low on that side. And um, on this side, <laughs> it's a lot higher. So the line is, as I said, it's very organic. But yeah, that's what it's all about with me. We like it messy. <laughs> that didn't sound very good. I think I'll cut that. <laughs> adds character, adds character. We know, we know, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'll sit that just a bit up here. So, And then I'm going to work on 
coloring now. This one, this is the rest of the liquid, uh, the soap batter. It's still very, I don't know if you can see that, but it is very liquidy still, which is great because I was really worried that it would seize up. It would start setting, but that's why you don't blend, you don't mix, you don't add, blah, 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 just in case it does. Um, so we all know, I've talked about before, fragrances can really speed up. It, it can accelerate, it can speed up acceleration. Um, this one doesn't seem to be bad at all. So again, this is the first time. I actually think that this is a new fragrance from where I get. It is. This is a Nature's Garden fragrance. NG, it's got on the label. This is a Nature's Garden fragrance, actually, which is an American brand, actually, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, excited. I'm excited. So yeah, um, this fragrance, Loving Spell, doesn't seem to so far have accelerated it over the top or anything. It's been quite easy to use for that one. So yeah. I'm going to blend this one up. We're just keeping this one a lighter color. We do want it a lighter shade than the pink we already have in there. And we'll add the rest of the fragrance. Pour it on top. And we'll go from there. Okay, so I lied. We did add a tiny bit more because it was like a bit too pale. But it's still pale enough. I like it. That's actually really pretty. Mm -hmm. I can't decide if I like this one better or that one. It's like a, it's like a pastel soft. Yeah. So in goes the rest of the fragrance oil. So of course it's really important also, it's a great idea so when you repeat the recipes that you're making a soap is to have the exact measurements down. Because I'm making this on camera, I have it recorded, what I do is I go back later on and I write down all of my notes on the amount that I've used. Um, with the fragrance oil that came in a specific sized bottle, so I know how much oil that I'm like fragrance oil I'm putting in the in the whole soap and I just split it in half between the two so don't think that I'm just going in and eyeballing it and just oh yeah this is enough fragrance just whatever and every time I do go back um, with my recordings if I don't record it and um, put it up on my YouTube channel I do take notes as I make them every time so I try to make them as uniform as possible if the batches are repeated okay and then we'll bring this back over and we're going to pour it. I'm going to pour it this time, um, aiming for the side that is the lowest in the mold, because um, that way it can fill up from the lowest point and meet it at the highest. So we'll see how this goes. I just realized that I did have a bucket, other bucket, which had a bit of a spout on it, which I was planning on using, but I didn't use. That's okay, this one worked out. I just completely forgot until as soon as I started pouring that right then. That's fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> Struggle's real. I'm so focused. I know what I'm doing. Oh, this is so pretty. It's like lollies. It's like mm. a type of lolly. I can't remember the name. Musk sticks. It looks like musk, musk sticks. sticks. Oh, it like... looks like musk sticks, but it does not smell like them. Fizzes? Do you yeah. remember fizzes? You're my favorite, probably one of my favorite lollies or like that I remember from when I was a kid was going to the pool in summertime is one, eating hot chips uh, from the canteen or the kiosk after being, you know, in the pool. Oh, freaking hell, of course I have to slop it down the side. Wasn't major guys, but. Oh. But um, back to the story. Hot <laughs> chips when you're like starving, but also there were, they were called UFO lollies and they were like round little compressed sherbets um, head. They were on a stick. They were on a paper stick and they were like UFOs and they were like two different colors in the little sherbet round. I remember those. Like they weren't round like a lolly normally but they were circular uh, in diameter and then the top was like slightly squashed so it looked kind of like an oval like a UFO. UFO. They were my favorite and they were like really cheap from the canteen. Okay so what I'm just doing now is carefully tapping this down. The top it doesn't matter if it's a little bit messy in its design because we will be piping on top. This is a lovely color. Okay. Definitely recommend this color better than that other fuchsia. But mind you, the fuchsia was supposed to be fuchsia. This is meant to be rose colored and it is. This is really pretty. So it's okay if it's a little bit off or whatever. So I'm looking at the sides and the diagonal seems to be holding its shape. So in future, I'm like keen to try and like probably pour it even more liquidy or something and try and get that even more even, the line. So this is great for a start though. I'm really happy with that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean this up. We're gonna let it set um, just for like a little bit. And while it's setting, I am gonna start mixing up the icing. Um, and yeah, so when you come back, we'll have the icing in the bag ready to pipe on top. I've done up the piping bag. There's the 
camera. <laughs> I've done up the piping bag. I've got, it's slightly, it's almost matching the same color as this, but it's again, a little bit lighter. So I like the way that it's like all in the same color, but different shades. So what I'm gonna do is go along and, because we're not needing to worry about the icing being individually in each, um, between markers for me to cut it, we're just gonna go along, kind of make it really flowy and again, going with the organic feel of it. And then we're gonna be sprinkling some, uh, pink rose petals, organic rose petals on top. And yeah, so we'll go from there. See how this goes. We're gonna go with the flow and see how it goes. <laughs> Hey guys, so here's a close-up of the top of this soap. So it looks like sorbet, we realize. So I textured the top as we saw with a spoon uh, because the soap, the icing did start to um, seize up on me a little quicker than I wanted to. Plus, I guess those swirly like lines I was doing on the bottom didn't really know how it was going to look on the top so this worked out a lot better I am really enjoying the organic textured tops that I'm doing with like spoons and palettes and knives palette knives and knives palettes <laughs> sounds like this big giant like you know the wooden crate stuff comes on <laughs> anyway so what we've done here is we've just sprinkled on top the organic pink rose petals and you'll notice that there are like little specks and spots too what we did was is that's actually rose seeds from inside the rose buds so you've got some nice different colored textures there i really like these rose buds when i got them they do advertise them as red roses but to me they look a bit more vibrant on camera than they do um in real life uh they are a little bit pinker but that works. I, I knew that when I got them that they look like that then. So yeah, I've made it work. So I really like this. We can see on the side here as well. Don't forget that we have the, um, the diagonal. So this is going to be interesting. Very excited. So we'll come back in a few days time. Going to make sure I let this set nice and good so that we can get a good cross cut. Um, yeah, and see how they turned out.
And here's the final soap. So this was left for a quite a few days. I actually kind of forgot to cut it and I was a little bit worried it would be too hard for me to cut through but it's turned out fine. But the smell of this is delicious. Like I mentioned earlier it almost smells, reminds me a little bit of sherbet like it's got almost that effervescentness, effervescentness is that a word? <laughs> of sherbet but it smells really fruity at the same time and it's got a little bit of floral in it and so the colors have come through really nicely on the screen I'm not sure if this shows up as white but this is actually a really light pink so we've gra we've graduated from the dark to the medium to the light but it's really pretty and the sprinkling on top of the rose petals is gorgeous so this will be available in time for Valentine's Day 2019 so 2020 <laughs>